How does a senior who has recently experienced a loss of a, of a mate um, or a partner kind of mentally and emotionally approach dating again? It, it's incredibly difficult. And again, people vary awfully from, I've had enough of that, it's not for me. Um, but I think we've seen uh, as time has gone on a very different, you might say more liberated view that, that a mo monogamous existence, which is terminated by death of a partner should then not result in many years of abstinence. Clearly, um, the grieving process takes a variable amount of time and often on an individual basis, but regaining normal social uh, and um, psychological functioning does or should encompass intimacy and, and sexuality. Um, the, the length of time that that takes, the, the resolve to get there uh, does vary. And of course, now in this age of, of, of internet dating, um, there are sites which are dedicated to older people as much as younger people. Um, and uh, many relationships do uh, are precipitated by uh, inter internet dating and are very successful. As much as group activities, social clubs, other places where people meet uh, and make spark off relationships. Let's dive a little bit into the concept of intimacy. Um, how would you say, um, what is the definition of intimacy and how does its importance change as you age? Um, again, there's no easy answer. It's awfully um, variable and often an individual um, expression of what counts for intimacy. Um, you know, uh, the, the, there's good information about how important is sex in later life. We talked about um, people maybe having less desire associated with aging, but you know, all of people with partners rate sex and sexuality as some important, for some importance, and emotional intimacy in relationships as a whole is, is extremely important. Um, the, you know, clearly there are various barriers, which I'm sure we'll talk, talk about, but the, you know, there is considerable importance of, of non-sexual touching and physical intimacy um, in, in, in the expression of sexuality.